any sign of regret is a sign of disrespect. I don't schoolyard creep. Once you sign up, nigga ain't here for that boo-hoo when it's time to line up your dick. So stop with all that extra. Just keep applying that pressure, baby. I can take you there. All I need you to do is brush these baby hairs. You hear me? I'm schoolyard crap. <laughs> The show is never quiet. gonna be you. No, be quiet. Hold on. Okay, it was never gonna be you. I don't screw our crib up. <laughs> son, listen. listen be son. gone, baby. Be gone. The bitch said, oh. Yeah, I told I told Lemmy I'm thinking about doing Baddie's East. Tell Lemmy. I said, Baddie's East? Bitch, you pregnant. When, how you gonna do Baddie's East? She said, Oh, I don't think. I think they'll be shooting like after I had the baby already. I said, "Who gonna watch the baby? <laughs> Me?" <Who? laughs> she says, "You." Please, son. Please, son. What? Have I ever watched you for more than twenty-four hours? No. Yes. I probably have. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna. I like that. This shit. Girl, you can't be right in the nose. She does have teeth. She does have teeth. Ow. She get it big. She's growing very rapidly. Ain't here in the clubhouse. Yeah. You want no milk? She's a monster for Come on, yeah. I'm tender headed. I don't like that. She thinks she's a person. Okay, not not just somebody who's trying to protect her. Well, you have a good job at that. I have no idea how long it's been until I mean, I'm gonna eat I don't like this shit. It's gonna be okay. Alright, we have to finish the book. Okay. Not so fun, is it? You're a creep. This ain't new. I've, I've been doing this type of shit. Yeah, honey. Bitch, okay. lucky if I she have a baby with me. I'm scared, creep. All the monsters. Wait, what are you waiting for? Only real what? niggas know how to put their baby to sleep. I'm gonna say. I'm a schoolyard. I don't get no better than this. I'm dead, honey. <laughs> This could paint whatever narrative, whatever type of character she wants. But a nigga really do this. Not my first rodeo. Who the best daddy in the world, kid? Yeah. Huh? Wait, what did you say? Who the best daddy in the world? I don't know 
your skills are. Who your bestest friend in the world? Who get you all the toys, give you all the money? I don't skill you. <laughs> but that's all I got. All I got is night night time, Kevin. I don't skill you out. Look, I put her down first. Screw her kid. Then we get to the kids. I'm two kids in. Stop playing with my body. I'm a grown-ass man. Dead homies, I've been doing this. I know what's best, and I know what's not. Screw her crap. Like, I put the whole house down. I'm really H-I-M on G-O-D. I just want to get them all. On P-O-F, there's plenty of fish at the mall. Extraordinary bitch. Get extraordinary dick on a dead homie. <laughs> no, that's why, though, on a serious note. Like, I do this type of shit. The bitch is so dumb. She said, the baby's not going to stop me from going on the road and getting money and hustling and doing what I need to do. I said, who going to watch the baby while you on the road hustling? She said, I'm going to have an on the road nanny. Bitch, if you think you finna take my newborn baby from the day she born to the day she's at least three years old on a road anywhere, on a plane, on a tour bus for longer than 48 hours, you're smoking dick. <laughs> Bitch, this is a baby. They have ear problems, easy sicknesses, easy sinuses. Bitch, you're finna be at home in the house, trapped, locked in with a baby. And when I leave the house, you're going to be at home with the baby. This, I'm not telling the bitch to get an abortion for me. I'm telling her to get an abortion for her. She's not. Earlier today, I'm picking this bitch brain. And I'm just trying to figure out what's the game plan, right? She telling me about baddies, east and all this shit. So I'm like, you finna have a baby. Like, what are you going to do? Like, you're, you're going to be in charge of the baby. I'm not in charge of the baby. Everybody knows when women have babies, they're destined to be the nurturing, caring, in charge of the baby, right? This bitch keeps saying, I'm going on the road. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to keep hustling. I'm looking at the bitch like, who's going to be watching the baby while you're doing this? Bitch says she's going to have an on-the-road name. I said, yo, look, once you have this baby, bitch, your world stops. The baby comes first. Everything you want to do <laughs> comes after that. She's like, no, 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 the baby's not going to stop my world. I'm going to keep going out and doing these hostings. Bitch, no, you're not. Scare crib. Unless you want me to full custody of the baby. You <laughs> what is wrong with you, kid? So what you gonna do with a newborn baby on the way? Set the house on fire. This bitch is dumb. Look how dumb the bitch is. This must be your first time trying to set some shit on fire, huh? supposed to put it in the bathtub so you don't burn up in the fire how stupid can a bitch be bitch a kid herself you leave her too by herself too long she just start fucking shit up ash everywhere bitch like a, a, a six year old you leave a six-year-old by, by yourself, you're going to come home, your shit going to be cut up, burnt up, broken up. Door going to be broken. The bitch is strange, kid. Don't understand it. House smell like fire and smoke. I don't think you in you inhaling all this smoke and ash is good for your for your child. Got to be smarter than that. Look, 
everywhere. Nigga trying to get the new glass stairs upgrade. This hoe ain't gonna set shit on fire. The bitch tried to turn the smoke detector off. <laughs> the bitch hopped on the table to turn the smoke detector off. Man, child protective custody gonna have a ball with you. I must say, you making this very too much easily. When you have a kid and you set a fire anywhere in the child's vicinity. Can't teach this kind of shit, cat. This shit. The bitch unplugged the Wi-Fi thinking the smoke detector was gonna turn off. Oh my God. Bitch, you unplugged the Wi-Fi, cat? Told y'all I made one dollar of Krishan. I'm eating off Krishan. Krishan pays me, feeds me. That is the falsest narrative I've ever had. Don't you think if I was eating off the bitch, I would have upgraded something? I would have made a big giant purchase of something show foreign that I'm eating. I got the same cars I had before I met this bitch. The same houses I had before I met this bitch. Same restaurant been shut down for a year now. I had before I met this bitch. Same apartments, nothing. The bitch ain't changed one thing for the better in my life. For her to be asking for any money from me. The bitch, what? I've been paying my baby mama before the bitch. I ain't even knew the bitch. Like, come on, girl. Stop. That narrative is <laughs> false. Fame amounts to zero dollars, guys. Let me teach y'all something. Instagram followers amounts to zero dollars. Instagram likes equals zero dollars. You could be the famous as a motherfucker, broke as hell, because you're not an entrepreneur in the head. You're just thinking I'm famous. Oh, let me get some free shit. Let me let me use this fame. People have a hard time of making fame work for them. Everybody works for fame. They don't make fame. I make fame work for me. So anytime I'm trending, anytime Krishan is trending, it amounts to zero dollars, right? So I have to turn that fame into money. Like us trending. Mm. I hear the peacocks chirping and I get tired of a bitch. I have one house, okay, I really just go to the next one because I'm really that player. That's why I bought two houses, though, because, like, sometimes I get bored being at the same spot. So I had bought this house just because I got tired of being at that house. But it come in handy on school, y'all, because for some reason I always got a deranged bitch at my... I mean, that's my home, for real, so it's a good place. It's the safest place to be if you're one of my situations, but... Come on, cuz. Nigga really had this type of shit going on. Like, this is not... <laughs> this is not on anyone else's dime but mine. I don't school yard crib. A nigga this fine and player, it should be a crime on the dead homies. I'm really a one percenter. You hear me, baby? So, you feel me? Drop that little wing wing and come get you a chicken dinner. You hear me? I just really wish they could be this player, though. On the dead homies. Hey, and this sly is player. Oh, it's, it's not no... Yeah, it's really going on. Still, you are like, <laughs> bitch, bitch, get in her mood. Yeah, I'm out of here. Fight yourself, bitch. I'm the dead homies. I'm gonna go to the other. The bitch is so dumb. She comparing making money to going places, to going out for free. Yes, if we're going to make some money, by all means, we're, we're, let's saddle up. When you get on stage, touch the mic, do your thing. You downtown on Wall Street for free, performing for free, you fucking up the business, baby. Like, how we gonna get the value out you if you downtown doing it for free? And you pregnant, so it's like really no purpose for you there. You're just thirsty. Like, you just, I don't get what it does for you. It's really your friends. I think your friends really want to just see you with them and where they're at. And then you just 
get so caught up in the, you know, yeah, bitch, you should do that, get your money. Them bitches don't know what you made, what you spent, what you got. They just popping it in your ear. And you're like, yeah, let's go out, let's go out. Like, you're not thinking I'm pregnant. There's no purpose for me to go out. I just should just. It's really her friend group choice. All her friends is like, yes, man. So it's like, if the bitch was like, yo, I'm thinking about jumping off this 20-foot roof. You guys think I should do it? They're going to be like, yeah, bitch, you can shine rock. You're going to land right on your feet. And then I'm that nigga in the background like, bitch, if you don't sit your ass down. And then her friends is like, oh. So it's like, for me, it's starting to seem like her friends like want her to like, like go backwards. It's like I'm trying to, it's like a tug of war. Like, oh, nobody want to be the friend with a pregnant bitch in the club. Like, anybody's friend group should suggest that pregnant lady. Like, um, you should just wait, girl. Like, you should just sit this out. Like, let's just have tea and go get dinner. I'm not, what? Like, when a bitch comes to the club with a pregnant bitch, I always look at the friend. Like, why would you come out with her? And then why would you come out? Her friends, they get notoriety from this like they get clout from this you dig what i'm saying like so it's almost like i don't know if it's innocent or not but the friends is just giving me a weird vibe because it's like if you her friend you're supposed to want to see the best for her like and it's almost like you want the best for yourself from her so it's like you want to pull up with her so you get like more cool points you get more you don't really care about the state that she's in. The bitch could be drunk, falling over. Ah, you still going to be like, bitch, come on, let's go to this one more club. Or bitch pregnant for 20 weeks. Uh, you're going to be like, come on, bitch, come to this club. So it's almost like you're like, I don't know, cut this shit make me. Am I tripping, cut? Because I just be feeling like, like that shit is strange. Because like her friends, and she thinks her friends are really her friends. Like she really thinks. I don't know, cuz she may, she may be just, I don't know. It's, it's strange to me, the friends, the friend thing that they do, cuz it's like, why would you want to come to the club with a pregnant bitch? Like, do you not know how niggas look at that? Or like, how niggas size that up? Like, if a bitch come to my little party or to the club with a, she pregnant, I'm already like, that, that's like a red flag, like, and her friends is even redder, because it's like, why would you bring a pregnant bitch out for free? Like, there's no benefit for her at this place? Okay, okay, I get it, but you benefit because it's Krishan Rock. You get the benefits because she's standing next to you, and she's, uh, you and she's, oh, uh, okay. Hey, cuz, nigga tell you that, I don't care what, how cool y'all get next week, how, bitch, you, you gotta eat them words, cuz, I'm screwing y'all, nigga, I'm never gonna be faithful, to, I will never be loved, bro, if y'all don't think everything I'm telling y'all done told this bitch already, y'all confused, cuz, this is my last resort, cuz, I hate this bitch, cuz. Bitch, make the roof of my mouth is. <laughs> with this rule. Okay, what's that? Rule? I can't work with any female artist. Mm hmm. And she won't work with any male artist. Is that so the why, rule? Why? Well, it was. Right? She came up with this rule. Did you come up with this rule? After the fact of something that happened. It's not the best rule. It's a terrible rule. Because now, so it, it, now, he's so down now, it, now, now, yeah, now it works. No, like, but I, but that same situation. He, he low key want the now same like, thing. Oh, so what you even talking to her for? If you came up with this weird ass rule, y'all gotta get rid of that rule, man.